right, so this week what we're gonna do is we are going to do a beach scene on the sand dollar. So I put up a supplies list and the supplies that we're going to use, oop, I forgot my dispersion colors, is we're gonna use dispersion colors, mecha powders, some glitter. So the two blues that we're gonna use dispersion colors is, excuse me, I'm missing my pink now, ow, is um, aquamarine, sky blue so we're going to use the those two dispersion colors we're going to use all american mecca powder so that's our three blues we're going to use a little bit of the shiny cerulean i hope i'm saying that right and blue fusion glitter we're going to mix that kind of into our blues give it a little bit of blue um we're going to be using the white armor art for our waves for the foam and the you know, the waves and do some lacing. And then for our sand, we're gonna use the sand color, dispersion color, I forgot to grab that one. And we're gonna add some, the one that I want gold glitter to that, okay? So those are the products we're gonna be using and we're gonna be using medium viscosity. You can totally, then you could use artist resin, thin resin, probably wouldn't use fast set because you're gonna want the time for um, to make the lacing and everything. And then also we're going to base coat this white with our prime time. But you can use, if you don't have prime time white, you could use any type of white paint that you have. Um, you could even, if you really wanted to take it a little bit further, you could paint your blue for your water, you could paint your white. So that's what we're gonna start off doing is we are going to base coat this white. So if you wanted to take it a little bit further, you could go ahead and like, you know, base coat. <laughs> All right, so what I'm gonna do is when you get your acrylic blank from Counterculture, it's going to have two pieces of protective backing on it. So that's that brown paper. You can lit, all you have to do it off. So you just need to, I like to, I just take like an X-Acto knife and kind of get a piece of it off of there and then you can just pull it right off. So it's kind of like vinyl. It's just a protective sheet. Um, so I do take it off of the side that I'm going to be putting the resin on top of, but I leave it on the bottom side because it, I don't want any resin to get on the back of this. So it acts as that protective sheet. So I leave it on there. And when I'm done with all of my resin, I remove it and it make sure that I don't have any drips on the back of this. So that's why I leave it on there. So that's all you're gonna do is you're just gonna take that piece off. Hi Joyce, I'm doing head and flip you guys around so you guys can see. So what we're gonna do is we're going to base coat this white. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this out of the way for a second and I'm gonna take my prime time and we're gonna use that because prime time dries so fast so we're just gonna use this, a full white base coat. And then when we uh, go to mix our epoxy, it will dry, okay? So I'm just gonna take that and I'm gonna dip my paintbrush in and I'm just gonna give this a good white base coat. And if you were doing a wood blank or an acrylic blank, you can always start with a base coat it will help your colors show up uh, more vivid you don't have to because sometimes things look really pretty when you have that transparency and you can see through there like if you were using kind of a, like an alcohol ink or something that wasn't very opaque for your epoxy dye you're covering this with you can kind of see through it so Maybe you wanted to do like a kind of beachy see-through water scene. So that's all up to you. If you want to base coat it or not, you totally don't have to. Um, I am going to base coat it because I want my colors to really, really show up. Now I am going, once you get your entire base coat on here, I'm just going to gently kind of rub, run my brush over the paint and that will kind of help those brush strokes, okay? So just kind of gently, like really like almost like you're feathering the paint out and that will kind of help with those harsher brush strokes, okay? 
just add a little bit of more paint and just kind of like really lightly. And you want to kind of start at the edge and pull. If you start at the middle, then you'll have like another little lump there. Or you could just wait and let each, each layer dry. It does dry really, really quick, so you could totally just wait. Um, but for our sake, we're just gonna go ahead and do it this way. Or you could use like a foam brush, that will help. You won't have so many brush strokes with a foam brush. But this is what I, I just use a bristle brush. It's convenient, it's what I have. And this is how I kinda get rid of those brush strokes, okay? So that's good enough for me. Put this like that to dry. And put this prime time up. And then we're going to push this off to the side and we're going to mix up our epoxy. So I am using medium viscosity tonight. So I'm just going to hurry up and get that mixed up. And in the beginning of the tutorial, for anybody that is just joining, I did go over all of the products that we're going to be using tonight. So if you wanted to follow along in the future, you can um, start the tutorial back at the beginning and see the supply list. So I'm just scraping, 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 making sure I'm getting all that part B. I always start off with part B first. <clears throat> and then here's my part A. And then as soon as we get this all mixed up, we'll go ahead and we'll mix up all of our colors. Now, because this is a smaller surface, we're not really covering that big of a surface. The sand dollar isn't that big. Um, you don't need a ton of epoxy, but I did want to make sure I had enough. It's always good if you don't know if you're going to use all your epoxy to go ahead and grab like a mold or have something that you needed a top coat on so that if you have any leftover epoxy, you can just go ahead and use that up so no epoxy is wasted. All right, so I'm just getting my part A. You don't need a lot because you're because the sand dollar really isn't that big of a surface. So, and because you're using three blues, you're using a lot of different colors. Um, you're not going to need a ton. So you probably need at least, I want to say, the blues and the sand color, you're going to want at least 30 of that color. And then for the glitter, I mean, you really only need probably five or 10 mLs of your glitter. And then the um, armor art, you same with that five or 10 mLs. We hardly will be using a lot of those because we're just gonna be adding little accents of glitter and very small lines of the armor art. And then we'll be using the heat gun to kind of fan them out. All right, so I'm just getting this all mixed up. I'm not gonna worry about bubbles because we aren't using a mold, I can use my torch. So my torch will get rid of all those bubbles and we're gonna be using a heat gun. So we're gonna be adding a lot of heat to this piece. But you know, I, I'm also not whipping it up too fast. Scraping my sides. So this is almost mixed up. I'm kind of a haggler about making sure it's all mixed up. I get a little nervous. I really make sure it's mixed up. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight different things that we need cups for. a little bit in each cup, probably about 
10 to 15 and then if I have enough I'll go back and refill but I want to make sure I have enough for most all the cups so it always start off with like 10 mls 15 somewhere around there and then I'll be able to tell so I'm gonna use a little bit more for my blues my sand color So let's go ahead and get our colors mixed in. So I'm gonna start with my blues and I'm gonna do my dispersion colors first. So I'm gonna put my baby blue in there, just a few little drops of that. Take that. So this is the baby blue dispersion color. You don't have to follow the exact colors I'm using. I just like to use like three different Gradients of blue, kind of starting at a uh, darker, going to lighter. So this one is aquamarine. Our sand color. I keep forgetting to order tops when I order these. So that's our sand color. I'm going to use some Mecca powder, all American of our all-American mecca powder. All right, so see there are two, our three blues here. That's our three blue colors. And then we have our sand color, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our waves, which is gonna be the armor art, to add the white. So we'll put a good size drop of that in there. don't need a ton of armor art. Armor art goes a long way. And then we have our glitters. So I'm gonna use a little bit of the blue. All right, so we're gonna use some blue fusion glitter. I'm gonna put a few. About four spoonfuls of that in there. <laughs> And then we're gonna use our shiny cerulean. I know I'm saying that one wrong too. And I'm, I matched my glitters kind of towards the blue that are over here. So blue fusion kind of goes with the all American. The shiny cerulean kind of goes with the sky blue. I thought it came out easier for you <laughs> because it's difficult. Yeah. Um, if you don't have white armor art, you can use a white mecha powder. You can use um, you can use a uh, paint, a uh, epoxy dye. Uh, you can use any type of white that you have. It might not do the lacing effect, but you'll still get, you'll still be able to make a little bit of a foam effect. Okay, so I'm in for our sand color. We're gonna use the glitter all the one that I want. Do a few little spoonfuls of that. All right, so now we've gotten all of our colors. Put 
all of those away. Okay, let's mix these guys up. Pulls up. All right, so blue fusion. If your piece prime time isn't all the way dry, like I can still see a few little wet marks, just go ahead and take your um, heat gun and just dry it up real quick. So I'm gonna do that really quickly. Now, I am going to be careful about where I place this. I'm gonna be careful about where I place this because this has openings, okay? So I don't wanna place my cup right underneath one of those openings. So be careful, because I want that resin to be able to drip down in there, okay? To drip down. So just be careful kind of where you place your cups. Um, if you need another, you know, more than one, use more than one. So my water's gonna be up here and my sand's gonna be down there. Right. Now, if you wanted to, you could go ahead and lay, uh, put like a, clear coat down just a clear thing of resin top layer of resin if you wanted to um just to kind of help your colors move better but i'm not going to worry about that i'm just going to go in with it so i'm going to start with my blue and i'm going to put my dark blue down i'm going to go in I'm gonna go in with my finger and I'm just gonna kinda spread this out a little bit, okay? Just so we get some of this. We get our line where we want it, okay? Okay. go in with my next color kind of overlap it a little bit onto that other color just map it out the color and then kind of spread that out so this is kind of like our base okay and then we'll go in and we'll add more to it. But right now we just wanna get where we're putting our colors down, okay? And then we'll go in with our sky blue. Okay, so now we kinda got that down. We'll go ahead and do our sand. And I am going to leave a very thin little bit of white line, okay? So this right here, I'm gonna leave. Okay, spread your sand color out. you kind of have a little bit of a your base so you know where your colors are gonna go and that will kind of help you map out okay all right so now you can go in and add a little bit more so this is really gonna be like adding and taking you decide where you want all your colors to go now how you want them to mix and blend so right now, all I'm gonna do is just kind of go over, drizzling. If I wanna bring down another color a little bit more, I can do that. Now this time what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start up here and I'm gonna kinda run my finger through all of this. So now we're gonna kind of mix these colors 
these blues together, okay? Kind of mix them together, add, make it kind of like they're fading into each other. Okay. I'm gonna do the same thing again, okay? I'm just gonna go back over everything with my colors, but this time, I'm gonna still leave a little bit of blue. I'm not ready to use it all up yet, okay? But this time we're gonna kinda hit it with the heat. And what we're doing here now is we're creating depth, okay? We're layering it because we wanna create depth. my heat gun and I'm going to kind of fan this all around. So it's heated up now. I'm going to just go back in. need to add more blue in an area this is where if you get something that's kind of fans out and you don't like it you can kind of go back in this time I'm gonna go in with a little bit of glitter up here just a little bit I'm not gonna be adding a lot I'm focusing this blue fusion in the darker blue remember how we kind of match the glitters So get it, move it however you want it, okay? If you feel like you need to move it down just a little bit, move it down a little bit, okay? Beach to look, go for it. Don't be scared to move it around. Add some more blue. So right now I'm really just focusing on my blues and then we'll get down here and we'll kind of focus on our and we did save some of that resin so if we want to we can oh. all right but while we do that we can blend a little bit more here Just doing the same thing, working some of this color in here. Okay, and this back in, right? We're just working with our colors. That's all we're doing, okay? So I like the way that looks. It looks like it's a good gradient, all that stuff, okay? So now I'm just gonna do a little bit more sand down here. I'm not gonna worry about my glitter until the last step on this because I don't want the glitter when we start hitting this with heat, I don't want it to um, get stuck underneath, okay? So I'm just gonna kinda give this a little bit of a dark. Okay, so we have our beach. So now what we're gonna do, we can add a little bit of our other glitter here. I'm just gonna kind of again do little little pieces, kind of strand it out.
remember, we're gonna be hitting this with some more heat in a second, so don't, you know, don't feel like you have to waste all your glitter putting it on in this one. Okay, let me check comments. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a little bit of that clear that we have left here, and I'm gonna do a white line right here at my shore, okay? Of the armor art. And I'm gonna, so if you need to do it again, do it again. Like if you need to go over it a few times to make it thicker, do that, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a little bit of that clear, and I'm gonna put it right up against that white right here. Right on the side of it, in the front of it, not behind it, in the front of it, okay? Put that off to the side. Important to know, when we hit this, you do not wanna hit it. Don't point your heat right over top of it. You're gonna wanna fan this out. So use your heat gun and the air pressure that's coming out of this to fan this. So you wanna kind of push your epoxy, okay? Wait till you turn your heat gun on. Give it a few seconds to heat up, okay? Fan this out, okay? So see how we got some lacing going on here? Oops, that fell over, that's okay. Takes a few. Okay, so I'm gonna go back over this a little bit. I'm gonna bring this. I'm gonna do the same thing again. put some of the white up here in the blue. And do the same thing. More armor art in here so I can get more. Where's my armor? Where'd it go? All right, so I am going to kind of put this armor art right on top of the piece now, okay? So again, I kind of have a little bit of a base. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it right on the piece. Now we get that lacing, okay? So again, I'm gonna put this right spot where I want waves to be. said you can pull it down however you need it to and now you can go back in and add more color if you wanted to I'm gonna add more blue for sure okay so the waves are kind of hard because they get stuck on these these turns so they're kind of kind of 
making their own little thing here, but that's okay. All right, so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna leave this the way it is. We have cells, we have lacing going on, but I wanna add a little bit more blue before I hit it again and push that out more. I'm gonna add a little more aquamarine to this. Kind of get our blue variants back. And then we'll fix some of these waves up. Okay, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more. Aquamarine, just so we can blend this again. Okay, much better. I like that a lot, looks better. Okay. Let's hit this with our spots here that don't have resin on them. We're kind of just ruining our wave. We'll add more. All right. Oops. Now we'll go back in with our armor art. gonna add a few spots and the trick is to kind of put it right on top of your resin okay and now this time I'm gonna add a little bit of clear again right there in front of it. Okay. And let's hit it with some heat again, okay? So this will be the last time we're gonna pretty much do waves. So we got our waves down good. I like that. We got lacing, we got it good. If you wanna add a little bit more glitter to it, you can. It's really, I mean, I really feel like some of this is all about, um, it's just about layering to really get you know. I'm not gonna add a lot of this glitter, just a little bit. Okay, and then we have our gold glitter still, right? So we can add a little bit of gold to our beach. Then there. This out more if you wanted to. Hit it with the heat, kind of get those um, waves a little bit more foamy and lacy. See how when you hit it with the heat, all that lace comes out. Let me get you down closer so you guys can like really see. Okay, 
And since there's these little pools right here, you might want to just add a little bit more. Go back over it with a little bit more uh, color if you need to. Because it's it will kind of pull a little bit. Right, guys I think that's it So, the biggest thing that you guys learn tonight is applying your armor art just like this. You don't, don't always mix it into your epoxy and that's how you'll get that lacing effect, okay? So guys, if you follow along and make your own beach chains, please share it. Let me see. I want to see them. I'll see you guys next week, okay? Thank you so much.